Good morning, good morning. And uh, well, today we're at a another very special place in the North Georgia mountains. And this one is called the the Pocket. But the, the Pocket, in particular, the Shirley Miller Wildlife uh, or Wildflower Trail. And right behind me here, you see the bluebells are, are all out in the wood. Uh, and it's looking very, very pretty. But uh, on the way up here, I was also noticing there's an absolutely amazing display in the trees at the moment. Uh, you've got the eastern red buds, which are all over the place, especially coming down some of the roads. They they seem to line the roads, and they've got that beautiful pink uh, bud on the on the on the branches at the moment. And um, some of the leaves, they're all just coming out with their vibrant green. But there's also these uh, trees which only have their little I guess they, I used to call them when I was a kid, uh, helicopter seed pods, uh, and we used to have them with the sycamore trees in the UK, but here I, I think there's other kinds of, kinds of trees that have them too, and the trees look like they're orange or brown or red in colour, and it almost looks like autumn in some places, so it's absolutely fantastic, and what a really great period of transition that we're in as we're moving away from winter and into spring and everything is coming alive again. It's, it's such a fantastic time to be out and about and witnessing what we have to, uh, to see in the mountains here. So I'm here today really to take pictures of the, the wildflowers. I'm going to have a look around and I think uh, I know that there's lots of flowers here in the wildlife, uh, sorry, the wildflower trail, but it's a very controlled sort of area. Um, but there's also a hike up beyond the, the waterfall uh, called the Pocket Loop. And I'm going to head up there as well and see if there's something a little more natural too. Um, one thing about the trail here, this year they've got it all closed off at the far end. There's actually a, a waterfall up at the far end, but it, it's all closed off. There's been a lot of um, trees actually uh, eroding and falling down off the the side of the the it's almost like a little canyon and they're, they're falling down at the far end there so they've closed it off for safety reasons so we can't go up to the waterfall but we will go up above the waterfall and see what they have there too so the the boardwalk for the Shirley Miller Wildflower Trail is there to stop people uh, getting in among the flowers, I guess, uh, and destroying them, standing on them, doing that kind of thing. Um, but it obviously restricts what you can do as well. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. I, I hope it's okay. But I'm, I've come down into the the river bank. Uh, sorry, the the river bed, and I'm just walking down the river bed a little bit seeing what I can see. Um, right now I'm looking for an overall picture to try and capture the scenes, uh, show you what it's like, um, because the bluebells on the floor of the, the forest here are very, very pretty indeed. Um, but there's other flowers along the banks as well. So I'm hoping from this vantage point I can um, get a nice couple of pictures and uh, then I think I'll get the macro out after that and see if I can get up close. Um, so if there's some overall pictures uh, I'll show you them first but the macro ones I'm going to keep them all to the end so hang around to the the end of the video uh, and I'll do a little montage hopefully of everything I found today on the on the macro side and try and uh, try and get a series of pictures that sort of depict all of the the flowers that you can find here at, uh, at the pocket at the pocket here in this image here I've got you can see in the live view I'm not sure if you can see that but basically there's a, a tree over there and as the tree goes down and the roots go across the bank it sort of frames the bluebells on the floor of the forest on the other side and it gives a good representation of what it feels like to be here today so I like that we've also got a, a nice hazy Sun so it's not too um, harsh and then I've got a, a polarizer on as well just to boost that color in the in the flowers just that little bit and um, yeah I quite like that one so we'll take that and move on and see what else we can find
Well, I've been working this this scene quite a bit more and I've actually switched out to the telephoto because it gave me a bit more scope as far as um, framing the scene. Uh, the zoom helps a little bit with that and the other, all the other lenses I have are, are fixed frame. So I've switched out to that and I'm using the polarizer again and I'm using a soft grad just to cut down a little bit on the glare on the, on the flowers on the top of the scene. But basically what I've done is I've come in quite a bit closer and I'm using these uh, other roots uh, a little bit further up the stream from the last one as the, the base for the image. And then I've got the flowers probably in a little more than two thirds of the image. And there's one particular little flower uh, down in the right hand corner there, which I, I like quite a lot. In fact, I might um, take a close up of that in a second. Um, so that's anchoring the, the bottom of the, the scene there. So hopefully that one will come out quite nice. Um, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the amount of light in here. It, it's, it's quite a bright day, this shouldn't be a problem, but um, just uh, getting down to an eighth of a second, fifteenth of a second, and there's a tiny little bit of wind, so some of the bluebells are, are, are flowing a little bit, but uh, I think we go, we're okay. I've, I've bumped the ISO up a little bit just to compensate for that, but uh, hopefully everything can come out fine. Okay, so uh, some success, but uh, to be honest, it's very frustrating. Um, the the rule that you've really got to stay on the boardwalk, which is for obvious reasons, uh, but it means that getting a, a nice composition is extremely uh, tough because you don't want to just stand up from above and use telephoto zoom in as much as you can. You really want to get down to the, the level of the, the flower. So as I say, I've had a little success, but um, but frustrating also. So I'm going to head back to the car and um, have some lunch. I've got uh, my usual apple, but today I've got a, a special treat in some real smelly cheese that my cousin has brought over from Cornwall. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be good. And then I'm going to head up on the trail, which is called the Pocket Loop Trail, which actually goes up beyond, above the top of this um, waterfall here. And uh, hopefully there's some other flowers up there, and I can get a bit closer to them. Um, but not too bad so far. Anyway, having fun. Wow, I never quite realized how beautiful it was up here. I've been down the bottom of the waterfall here before, but of course it's closed off today from down below. But we've come up the top now, and uh, yeah, it's it's fantastic up here. I love it. There's the, uh, the view down here. Hang on. So I've actually found a lot more flowers as well uh, up here, uh, a few different ones and also you can just get that so much closer to them. Uh, I've been taking a lot of shots handheld, uh, just moving fast and taking pictures so don't have too much time left here to head back in the mo. so uh, just really enjoy myself, really good. So I just stopped here by the edge of the path, uh, there's some beautiful wild orchids and I think this is going to be my last picture of the day. Uh, but as I said earlier, I'm going to stick up a photo montage of all the pictures of the flowers at the end. So stick around for that. Uh, but it's time for me once again to head home and uh, really enjoyed this fantastic place. Uh, the flowers have been incredible as promised and been waiting for several weeks for these to come out. So really pleased that they, they now have done. Um, so we will see you again next week. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.